Senior year of high school is a time when new beginnings can often feel like bitter conclusions. It's the year where we try to finalize our plans for the future and start to decide what we want to do with our newly found adulthood. It's our last chance to find closure, to come to terms with the fact that an old chapter of our lives is finally coming to an end. So, senior year can be a lot of things to a lot of people, but to me it was just too much. I felt anxious and vulnerable in the face of so much change. College was just around the corner and I felt like I had no idea what I was doing. In my personal life, I've always struggled with a lot of anxiety. For example, I have this dream of becoming a professional filmmaker. I want to use my art to make an impact in people's lives. Unfortunately, there's always been this thing stopping me from reaching my goals. This deeply rooted uncertainty, this fear of failure, of being imperfect that's always kept me immobilized. Normally, I've always been able to fight back the urge to do nothing. To drop all my goals and obsess over the possibilities and the what-ifs. To let my fears consume me until all I can allow myself to do is dwell. Dwell in a pit of my own motionless perfectionism. But recently, it all started to become too much for me. I was trying my best to deal with all the applications, the scholarships, the colleges, the required placement tests, and ultimately that same old fear of failure. But eventually it just started to take a toll on me. What if I couldn't make my younger self proud? What if I wasn't able to reward 10 year old me for being brave enough to dream a dream of his own? What if I didn't even belong in college? I almost let the fear of failure paralyze me again. But it's in times like these where you need to move forward. Even if your fear is telling you to stand still, you always move forward. And so I did. I went to the college and career center at my school and trust me, it spared my parents and I a lot of gray hairs. Their guidance was invaluable help for us. Especially because as immigrants going through some financial uncertainties, we needed all the help we could get. They gave us access to resources that allowed us to make well-informed decisions about my future, and they opened up whole new doors of opportunity for me. That experience helped me remember a few important life lessons. For one, the idea that seeking perfection makes us better is not true. Seeking perfection keeps us prisoners in the self-perpetuating cycle of never doing or being enough. No matter how good you are, it'll always feel like it's never enough. In school, we're taught failure and success, passing grade or failing grade, but no one ever teaches us that life is a learning curve, not a test. We don't need to have all the answers right now. You might be driven by a fear of failure quite as much as a desire to succeed, but we have to accept some failure in life to move on. Failure is a part of life, but it doesn't have to define your life. If you are able to stay focused on what you want and view failure as a normal part of the process, your goals will ultimately be realized. And finally, always remember that we have an entire support system on our side. Maybe it's our parents, our school teachers, or counselors, or maybe it's just our friends. But please, never forget, you are not in this alone. You are human, just like everyone else. You don't have to be perfect. All you have to do is keep moving forward, day by day. And if you keep doing that, I promise, one day it'll get better. Good luck and goodbye.